Welcome back, everybody. Mpokwezi's exhibition, A Piece of Paper, is currently showing at the Market Photo Workshops Gallery 1989 with support from the Department of Sports, Arts and Culture. Now, the artwork is an interpretation of conversations and perceptions gathered throughout his research and image-making period. Experimenting with previously used film, Mpo questions the written and unwritten rules of ownership, particularly of land, but also of culture and identity. And he joins us this morning to share more on the exhibition. Mpo, a very good morning to you. Thanks for joining us. Welcome to Morning Live. Thank you. Thank you for, 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 for inviting me. How are you? I'm very well, Mpo, and it's so good to have you on this show this morning. And I want us to start by uh, taking a look at, uh, you know, what this exhibition is, is all about. And, uh, we, we know that a piece of paper is an exhibition that looks into previously used film. And you also question the written and unwritten rules of ownership. So please tell us how this is interpreted in your artwork and uh, what does your work aim to do? Okay, so with my work, what I'm trying to do is... Uh, it started started with the with the with the uh, my domestic my domestic life. So, what happened is when you're looking at your life as as a human being, uh, our lives basically are affected by by what you call the title deed. So, all okay. of us as South Africans or as youth, we find ourselves in uh, inheriting the land that is belonging to 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 our parents, mm -hmm. and then. While while um, the land actually belongs to our parents, so what, what 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 how does this thing help us as 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 the youth? Okay, I mean, why so, are you why are you so drawn to this subject, particularly the issue of land, culture, and identity? Uh, I'm drawn to this because I was affected at at, at, at a certain point okay. whereby. Even everyone, we can relate to the story. We can relate to the idea of uh, family members fighting over title deeds and all of the, all of those things. So, okay. at a certain point, all of us we can relate to the story. Now, do you want to describe the mood of your artwork as well as the visual characteristics of your work? Okay. So, what I've what, what I've done, I was I've, I've been privileged enough to be close to one. Uh, a, uh, uh, Miss Van Donder, one of the white ladies, who was affected by the land grabs that happened in South Africa recently. So what happened was when she 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 was about to to leave the country because of the land grabs, uh, some of my community members uh, took over his her land. So what really happened with her is that I found a box of film that belongs to her, and then. At, at a certain point, I, I didn't know what I was going to use the film for because she wanted to paint the film. Because of, I'm a photographer, I'm an artist. I said to myself, uh, maybe at some point I would print her images next to my images, trying to 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 gather the message. Maybe there is something that she's been saying all along, but it has never been heard. Every time when you're listening to the history of of apartheid, we've had issues about about. Our black people being oppressed. We've never had, the, we've never had the side of 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 of, of the oppressors mm -hmm. or or the white people to say. Yeah, and just how aware of you of uh, what audiences see in your work and what it actually provokes. I mean, uh, and and why you made art in the first place. Yeah. So the the work actually, I've I'm, I've photographed. When you when you get to the work, you you understand that it's double exposures. So I've photographed on top of her films. So in a sense, to challenge, to challenge, or to actually make my point on top of her point, or also give her a voice to speak because she left the country without even saying anything. Mm. No one knows her story. So I'm trying to give her a voice and also trying to bring my point across uh, regarding the land issue. Yeah, and just picking up on that, I mean, most valued artistic work uh, always plays a deeper role in the transformation of societies. I'm sure you are aware of that. And so how does your work yeah. then comment on the current political or social issues? Because we, as, 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 as people, we need to, we need to we, I think we need to challenge this notion of, of always, always following things. Because when you're looking at what is happening right now, I feel like we have adopted this system of of of, of letters, of of contracts, of every hmm. piece of paper we're following. We we keep following this, but we don't understand where does this thing come from. You get to the uh, according to me, when you sign a contract to work for a company, 
uh, the company actually that contract normally for according to me that contract doesn't doesn't protect you but it protects uh, basically the company okay. so even the title deed who does the who does the title deed protect because right now when you when you're listening to people's uh, uh, stories uh, a lot of people have lost their RDP house because someone went to the Department of Housing and the, the, con the, the, the title deed was bought. Mm -hmm. So at a certain point, why are we, are we, are we finding truthfulness within this, 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 this subject of every piece of paper? Okay. So what is the truth behind behind the piece of paper that okay, you've been we, saved we, with? Okay, we're out of time, and Paul. Yeah, we're out of time, unfortunately. But uh, please remind us again where the exhibition is currently showing. Okay, the exhibition is currently showing at the market for a workshop. Uh, it's in Gallery 1989, so it's in Newtown. So I'm inviting people to come and check it out. So the, the exhibition is is up weekly days, so we're not open all on the on the weekends. So weekly days from Monday to Friday at 10 o'clock until 4 o'clock. Okay, Mpoku, great chatting to you. Thank you so much and all the best. Thank you. All right.